Oh my god, this highlighter just makes me excited about life. All right, feel like I haven't done a shadow and schmooze in a hot minute. If you're new to the Bayrito family, shadow and schmooze are where we put makeup on our face, talk about the products, talk about life. So this is a full face get ready with me video using a new foundation combo, trying out the new Morphe Elite 2 collection brushes that just came out. These Jolet boxes, which you can get at Ulta, this is the Get Glowing Illuminating Kit. And then I also have the Glam It Up kit right here. Each of these boxes comes with four products. So basically for 40 bucks, you're getting each product for $10, which is drugstore prices. These retail for $39 at Ulta and starting in August. Julep is actually available in 250 Ulta stores across the country and online, which rocks because previously I think you could only get Julep on their website. They actually have 57 products coming to Ulta, so it's awesome that they're going to be available to more people now in Ulta stores. You can actually play with the products before you buy them, see which ones you're feeling. So thank you to Julep for collaborating with me on this video. If you want to try out Julep at Ulta, I do have a 20% off link that I'll link in the description box down below. Let's get into the video. It is 11.20 a.m. Have not eaten avocado toast yet. Had an avocado emergency this morning. I'm out of avocados. I feel like my day just isn't right without avocado toast. All right, I just got a new mic. Really just ran downstairs and got this all set up. I hope the sound quality sounds better. Let me know down below what you guys think of it. But I played it back on just my camera. I haven't listened to it on the computer yet and it sounded pretty damn good, but you can hear like every little crinkle. So I have a giant basket, box, whatever this is, of products that I want to use today. So on the face today, I think I want to mix the Urban Decay Naked Skin Weightless Foundation with the Leo Ellie BB Cream. I haven't tried this combo yet. The Leo Ellie is a tiny bit dark and it's super creamy. I love this BB Cream, it has really great coverage. And this one is a little more on the liquidy side. So I'm going to go ahead and make my foundation cocktail over here. And I did do a whole review of the Naked Skin Foundation during 15 Days of Foundation. I think this is gonna be a pretty long video because I feel like I haven't talked to you guys in forever and I also just haven't like been a part of the world for the last two days. Going through a pretty bad migraine streak yesterday was rough. So it feels good to be functioning today and talking to you guys it really does make you feel grateful for the healthy days that you have if you have any kind of chronic pain, you know what I'm talking about. So I do have the brand new Morphe Elite collection here that I'm gonna try and use all these today. Not all these, but all the brushes I use today are gonna be from the Morphe Elite 2 collection. I've only tried this foundation brush so far. This is the E31 and it feels a little bit different than the original one. They definitely are softer, but in a different way. Like they just feel a little bit flimsy to me. It is blending this out beautifully, but personally for a foundation brush for me, I like it a little bit more stiff just so I get better coverage. Basically what happened with that, I believe, was that Morphe wasn't intending the Elite collection to be permanent. It was supposed to be just like a limited edition thing at first. Then it was selling so well that they kind of just kept it. So the new Elite 2 collection is supposed to be like the permanent version of that. Now that I have the permanent brows on, I try and be kind of careful going around them with foundation because it's super easy to cover them up. So far, liking that combo. I'm gonna go back and add a second layer to spots that we need just a little bit more coverage. Looking really nice and dewy. I have an Instacart order coming right now with avocados because it's an emergency. Instacart and Postmates literally saved my life. Instacart's grocery delivery and Postmates is food delivery. If you follow me on Snapchat, you see my Postmates addiction. I actually really like the way this combo looks so far. I have some more product, but I don't really feel like there's any spots that would really need it. So I'm just gonna blend down my neck a little bit. Yeah, that combo is sitting really nicely on my skin. And this brush was totally fine. I don't like it as much as the original one, but it worked. I tried a bunch of new concealers during 15 Days of Foundation, but I'm still loving my Collection Cosmetics Lasting Perfection Concealer. This is not a US brand, so if you're in the US, you have to order this off of eBay. But I just freaking love it. I feel like this is so underrated. I know that there are a lot of new people on my channel from 15 Days of Foundation, so let me know what videos you guys want to see. I might do like an all up holy grail product video. I feel like if you've been watching me for a while, you know what my holy grail products are, but if not, it's kind of hard to go back and watch like 5,000 videos and figure that out. So let me know if you guys would want to see that. What brush are we gonna try for this? Let's try this guy, this is the E20. Did that just shed? Yeah, that just shed. It did blend out the concealer really nicely though. 
The only non-elite two brush I'm going to use is this guy because I literally can't use a different brush to apply my under eye setting powder. This is an e.l.f. brush, I'll link it down below, with the Stargazer powder, holy grail. This is what I use to set my under eyes every single day. Something about this brush with this powder, it just is perfection. I have weird under eye concealer issues. I can't bake. It just looks so funky on me. This just sets my under eyes perfectly without taking away any of the coverage of the concealer. Like, look at that side compared to that side. I am going to set my face today, I think. Yeah. I usually set my face with the Leo Ellie just because it's not super long-lasting if you don't. I finally ordered the Kat Von D Lock It Powder Foundation in the shade L42. This is super light. I think this might be too light for me. When I wear a foundation that's too dark, sometimes I can lighten it and make it look normal with a lighter powder. So I might keep it for that reason, but it looks pretty dang light. The L42 range is like super pale. It might be too light, but let's just go in. This is the E41. I mentioned this on Snapchat, but this one compared to the old E41, it feels nice and soft, but it's just a lot more flimsy. It's not as like densely packed and I can see bristles like flying out as I'm doing this. Yeah, there's like bristles coming out. I don't know guys, I don't know. I usually like a more dense brush to put on powder. I think I want to switch. Let's try the... This one's a little bit more dense. This is the E1. Oh yeah, like that one. Alright, it's actually not looking too light when it's on the face. That powder is definitely more on the matte side. Totally mattified my face pretty much. How does this happen? I have a cup right here sitting with all my brushes and they still end up everywhere except the cup. I've gotten a lot of questions lately about what my favorite contour is for pale skin. This has been my favorite for a couple years now, and it still is. This is the It Cosmetics My Sculpted Face Palette. This is the original one. They did reformulate this and like repackage it, so I haven't tried the new one. I still have a ton of product left in this shade right here, which is the one I use. I'm going to take the E4 brush and go ahead and contour a little bit. I think these ones just feel a little bit cheaper to me, which I'm assuming is what they did, and all of these are shedding, just an FYI. Which kind of sucks because I feel like the Elite collection from Morphe was the ones that I really liked. They just felt like a little bit higher quality. These don't feel as soft on the face either. Like they definitely feel a tiny bit scratchy on the face actually, which is weird because when you just feel them with your hands, they don't. And I am a Morphe affiliate, like I've told you guys before. So there are certain products that I recommend from them. There are certain brushes that I don't. So I will tell you straight up if a brush is worth it and if it's not. All right, I just love that contour. Like, look at that, ladies, look at that. So favorite blush hands down this month has been the Wet n Wild Color Icon Ombre Blush in the shade Purple in a Purple Haze. This is just stunning. I think I'm gonna use the E3. It does have a little bit of a glow to it. I just love the way it blends out. Okay, I do like this brush. This one felt nice and soft. I did an Instagram post and I talked about this on Snapchat about my favorite current highlighters. Essence Eyeshadow and Snowflake. If you have pale skin, go drive to Ulta right now and pick this up. This is freaking stunning as a highlight. I swatched this in store and the formula of it just felt like it would be a perfect face highlight. It is super soft, super buttery, doesn't have any kind of glitter chunkiness to it. It's $2 or even less than that. It might be a dollar. Looks almost identical to Becca lawnmower, really. I think I'm gonna use the E49. They do have a fan brush in here, but I don't know. I don't usually like fan brushes that much. Oh my God, look at that. So stunning. This formula, which is an eyeshadow, is seriously better than 80% of the high-end highlighters I have. Really hope you guys can't hear the lawnmower right now. So beautiful, and I do like this brush. I'm gonna put a tiny bit down my nose, whatever's left over, and on my cupid's bow. Why is it called a cupid's bow? Does anyone know? I guess I could google that. Oh my god, this highlighter just makes me excited about life. You know? You're obsessed with makeup when you're excited to wake up in the morning to put highlighter on your face. It is so nice that I don't have to touch my brows at all anymore. I'm gonna use the Makeup Forever Mist and Fix. If you have an event that you need your makeup to look good all day long, this setting spray is really nice. As an everyday setting spray, I think I like the Hard Candy or the L'Oreal one. All right, so now that we have the base on, I have these two boxes whoa, from Jewel Up. One of them is the Glam It Up cocktail ready box. One is the illuminating look. The illuminating one has a lot of cream products. It has a cream blush and a cream highlight, which don't usually sit 
too well on my skin. Ooh, but it has a full coverage lip crayon that looks really promising. I think I'm gonna go in with this box first and use some of the stuff in here. You get a little product card when you open it that shows how you can wear some of them. And then here's how it's packaged. I think it looks really nice and sleek with the black on black. Instead of priming my eyes, I'm gonna use this eyeshadow one cream to powder eyeshadow stick. This is in the shade Orchid Shimmer. And these are supposed to be waterproof, long lasting, and crease proof. So let's apply this all over the lid. Where am I putting this? I don't really know. So I'm just gonna blend this out with my finger. I just pulled a bunch of random eyeshadows for this look, so I don't really know what we're doing. I just know I wanna put purple on my eyes. I think I'm gonna go in with some of my Makeup Geek shadows. So I'm gonna go in with the E27 and take Peach Smoothie, which is basically like a peach tone transition shade. And I'm just blending that. I feel like my mirror is like way too far right now. There we go. I can see my eyeballs. The Cherry Cola. I'm gonna start by blending this really well into the like outer V area. Not bringing this too high up into that peach smoothie shade. This brush is the E17. It's like a small blending brush. It feels so good to like be alive and functioning right now. I can't even tell you. All I'm thinking about is avocado toast. Oh, speaking of avocado, my avocado clutch came in the mail. <laughs> can't tell if this is the proudest moment in my life or the most regretful, but I bought the Betsy Johnson. <laughs> Why did I do this? Spent $80 on an avocado. If you follow me on Facebook, you saw this whole dilemma. Betsy Johnson has a taco clutch and an avocado clutch. It's basically the biggest decision of my life. All right, so whatever is left over on that brush, I'm just dragging a little bit inwards. There's barely any product on the brush when I'm doing this. Okay, so I kind of want the purple to be like bam purple, not just like chillin' purple. Caitlin Rose, and this is like a super shimmery, bam 80s purple oh my god look at that heck yeah look at that purple eyeshadows never fully show up under these lights like they do in real life now i'm going to take an even smaller blending brush this is the e18 and i'm going to go in with this wet and wild shadow i don't have any makeup geek like dark purple shades so i'm going to go in with whoa this shade right here from Wet n Wild. This has a little bit of sparkle in it, but I think once we blend it out, it'll be fine. And I'm just gonna put this in the very outer portion of my eye. If you just want a softer purple eye, you could definitely skip that step, but I'm like feeling the smoke today. Now I'm gonna take the Jewel Up Liner When Pencil Meets Gel in Smoky Plum. This is like a dark purple eyeliner. So it's a waterproof formula that's supposed to set in 30 seconds and last for 10 plus hours. I'm just gonna pop this on the waterline. So we are gonna be blending shadow on the bottom lash line like I usually do, so I'm just gonna bring this a tiny bit below the waterline. Whenever I do waterline eyeliner, I typically don't like to bring it all the way in because it can kind of close off your eyes. First, I'm gonna go back in with Motown and I'm using the E43. And I'm just placing this directly on that eyeliner. I'm gonna go in with Desert Sands by Makeup Geek, which is this like shit brown shade right here, one of my favorites. I'm using the Sedona Lace 904 brush. This one I am bringing in farther because I want it to look super smoked out, but not too dark. And you wanna be blending this like I am no longer on my eye, if that makes sense. Like I'm bringing this pretty low because that's what's gonna make your eyes look bigger than what they actually are. Now I'm going back in with that dark purple shade from Wet n Wild. Debating whether I wanna do liquid eyeliner or just falsies, kinda of just wanna do falsies. But first I'm gonna do something with a lighter shade of purple. This is the old E19 brush. I don't see a new one. Taking the shade Daydreamer by Makeup Geek and this is one of their foiled eyeshadows. This is a lighter purple. Oh shit. I'm just gonna put that right on the center of the eye. Oh my god, look at that shadow. If you put a lighter shade right in the center, it'll just help create some dimension. All right, I think I'm officially in love with that shade. Oh, I just got an interesting text. Okay, anyways, so I think I'm gonna take this super shimmery shade by Makeup Geek Voltage, which I've been obsessed with for putting on the inner corner. So I think I've decided on skipping out on eyeliner. Oh, these things are a workout getting out of the box. I'm gonna apply a thin coat of mascara before I put on falsies. This is the Drill Up Length Matters Mascara. Never used this before. It has a beeswax formula. That's interesting for smooth, clump-free building and layering. The brush of this kind of reminds me of the Wet n Wild Mega Length Mascara that I use on my bottom lashes. It has super tiny bristles and it looks like they're like rubbery. I typically don't go for lengthening mascaras on the top. I usually like more like volume, but this is looking really nice and like separated. 
So the falsies I'm going to be using today are the Clean Color Angelic Wink number 48. These are stunning. This is what I wore in the vibrating sponge foundation video. I love these lashes. I feel like these are going to be my new favorites and I'm pretty sure these are like $2 or less. My Instacart literally just got here. I was like last minute trying to put on false lashes and that happened. Love and life. All right, so falsies are on. I used the Wet n Wild Make Length Mascara. It was having major false lash issues today. Not even sure if these are actually on my eyeballs right now. So for lips, I'm gonna go in with either one of these. I've talked about these before on my channel. I think I have a couple of shadow and schmoozes using these, but this is the Julep Lip Mousse in the shade Ooh La La. This shade has been sold out on Julep for forever, so if you can get your hands on this on Ulta or in stores, do it because this is like one of my favorite liquid lipstick formulas and shades. These are moussey. They don't feel drying at all, but they do dry down. They're pretty long lasting. This one I've never tried. This is the It's Balm Lip Crayon in the shade Almond Nude Cream, and it's supposed to be like a full coverage lip product, and it has this little white thing in the middle that I'm assuming is like a moisturizing balm or something. I kind of want to see. Let's see what color this is. I feel like that might be a little bit too peach for this look. So I think I'm going to go in with Ooh La La. I just want to show you guys the applicator of these are also super interesting. I actually like to use the end of it to kind of line my lips and then go in and fill it in. The shape of these like weirdly hugs your lips. Feels really good. I like can't even see my lips right now. So that is Ooh La La. Super pretty kind of dusty mauve shade. I think I'm going to take this Essence XXXL Shine lip gloss and just put a little bit of this on the center of my lips. This is in the shade Glamour to Go. This smells like great medicine. All right, so this is the final look. I need to go unpack groceries, make some avocado toast. I'm stoked. Like always, I'm going to link everything down below. If you guys like this video and you want more Shadow and Schmooze videos, give it a thumbs up so I know. You can always leave any product requests that you want to see in Shadow and Schmooze videos down below in the in Amazon description box. Love you guys. Thanks for watching. See you in my next video. Bye.